it's sinking in of like i can't believe what happened it's just so dumb and like this is what happened so i go in for my uniform and they asked for my shirt and asked for my pant size and all i did was oh it's okay don't, don't worry about the pants i can bring i can you know wear my own that's it that's all i said i'm guessing the secretary blew it out of proportion and said i refused to wear it apparently it was company policy dude i had no fucking clue how am i supposed to know i'm new and the dude just got offended and let me go and it sucks dude because i did everything i did the fingerprints i picked my benefits plan i signed a bunch of fucking paper i was going back and forth and then when i saw the number of how much i was going to start making like i felt all the financial weight off my shoulders I was gonna start paying off my debt, my car, I could go back on working on getting the fucking divorce, but I just can't believe it, like I'm still in shock, it's still sinking in. I went to my interview this morning and it affected me, dude. I tried my best not to, but I could tell I was, it was starting to crash and burn and I'm like, fuck man. I couldn't remember the names, like I know how to fix things, but I just couldn't remember the correct fucking words. I couldn't remember the names of tools. Like, it was so bad. I'm like, fuck, I'm crashing and burning, dude. So I don't think I'm gonna I'm a get that. I have another interview Wednesday. It sucks, bro, because I got my hopes up. And then I, I, just, I just still can't believe it. Like, over something so idiotic. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to be optimistic. It's... When shit like this happens, it's just insane like i just can't fathom the thought it just doesn't make sense at all like it's the most so dumb but unfortunately that's fucking life dude it sucks because i feel like the last year this is how my life has been it's good news and then bad news good news bad news and it's not even like good news and then it stays being good. It's like good, bad, good, bad, good. And then the bad is longer than the good. And it sucks, that's how, I'm, I'm, believe me dude, I'm trying my best not to let it affect me. Whenever I, I try to start thinking about it, I try to knock it off right away. So, you know, cause I'm trying not to go back to being depressed. I don't like being in that state of mind. It sucks. I was feeling awesome. I had a bunch of plans. And it sucks, dude. When shit like that happens, it feels like you're trying to better yourself, trying to better your life. And then idiotic things like this happen. And it's like, I feel like life is slapping me in the face and telling me to stay put where I belong, which is in the gutter. And I feel like a lot of people have similar feelings this way. But I feel like I've seen what happens if I give up in life. I feel like I've seen a lot of people here. I feel like a lot of them, that's why they're miserable. That's why they hate their job, but yet they stay there for 10, 20, 30 years. It's because they've given up. And I'm trying to be positive. I'm looking at it, it's only been a year. Like you can't give up after a year. Like you gotta keep going. It hasn't even been five years. Like, you know, you get some few setbacks, but you gotta keep going. And if you want to make a difference, you want to make a change, if you want to be happy, you have to put in the work. It's just not going to be given to you. You know, nothing is given to you in this fucking life. You got to, I don't want to take it either. I want to be able to get it through my work and trying to be just a good person. That's it. And I get why people don't want to be a good guy. They'd rather be a bad guy and fucking slit people's throats so they can make their way to the top i've seen it i i've unfortunately been the victim of somebody slashing my throat and them getting the fucking position over me because i wasn't willing to do what they were willing to do i just don't want to be a horrible person i try to be a good person i'm not a saint you know i i fuck up i you know i still drink i still curse you know i just try not to be an asshole and I just try to put a smile face on and 
try to make everybody's day a little bit better. I just just want to help people. You know, I get why people are fucking miserable and they say fuck everybody else and they screw them over because you just end up being screwed up so many times and you say fuck it. You either you should live long enough to be one of them, but I still refuse to be one. I hate that and I don't want to be like that. You know, it's just, I hate to admit it, but like recently I've been thinking, you know, with my ex that cheated on me, if, you know, we always say we give them everything, but if we really did give them everything, why would they seek attention of somebody else? It's because you didn't give them what they needed. So unfortunately, as much as I don't want to admit it, it, part of it is my fault, you know? I didn't give her what she wanted or needed but I tried to communicate with her and it was just if you can't communicate then it's just not working out and I feel like it was the same thing with my current ex-girlfriend I tried to communicate but it's just not working out I try to talk I don't know man that that just keeps popping up in my head and then now this like it sucks getting hopes up but then it's like nope psych bitch <laughs> I'm still trying to be positive. I'm still trying to laugh about it because it's, it's all I can do, bro. It's, it's either I try to laugh about it or I go back to being depressed and slowly kill myself like, or give up in life and end up in a fucking miserable marriage like my fucking parents. I don't want that life. And I feel like I have to do this to remind myself that's why you're putting in the work. That's why you're taking it day by day. As much as it sucks, as much as fucking life knocks you out, knocks you down, you gotta get back up. It's okay to stay on the ground for a few seconds, but as long as, you know, that count doesn't go to 10, you're still in the fight. And I'll be honest with you, right now I do feel low. I feel low as fuck right now. Uh, like I said, I got an interview Wednesday. I'm gonna keep looking for interviews, but damn, it is exhausting, it is tiring. You know what's funny? It's, I bet you this always happens when I get a job after three months, I'm over it. <laughs> I just need to find a different career and that's why I decided to um, apply for the job I did this morning because it is different and it's a career that I wanted. I want to work with my hands, but unfortunately, I fucking bombed it. Uh, I just couldn't remember the tools. It is what it is. I went for it. I tried. Now I know I won't wonder what if. I won't have regrets. What's done is done. You know, it's in the past. Once in the past, there's really nothing you can do. There's no point in reminding yourself over and over because now you're just dwelling in your suffering. And unfortunately, that's all you know once you get used to it. And that will be your comfort zone. And I'm tired of that being my comfort zone. Just tired of making excuses. Like, yeah, I lived a fucking shitty life, shitty parents, shitty environment. But I can't use that as an excuse of being a shitty person, having a shitty life. It's, that's, unfortunately, those were the cards that I was dealt with, but I can get rid of a few cards so I can get a better hand. And that's all I'm trying to do, man. One day at a time, that's all we can do. Oh, life fucking sucks right now, but uh, well, well, you have to, two choices. You either dwell in your misery or you put in work and figure shit out, man. That's all we can do. Life gives you a problem, try to find a solution. You know, everything happens for a reason, even if you can't figure out why that happened for the reason. It is what it is. For example, you know, when me and my ex didn't qualify for a house, you know, I was devastated. Like, why? I don't understand. And now it makes sense. Look what happened. Imagine if we had a house. But yeah, it just fucking sucks right now, dude. I'll be fine. I'll fucking get over it. I'll figure some shit out. It's just, I feel like right now, I feel like sometimes in your life you do get to the point where you don't really want to be optimistic and be positive and you don't want to hear that shit because you're just, you're just tired of it. It's, I guess I'm here to say it's okay to take a break, but just don't give up. There's a difference between taking a break and then stopping. So I think I'm just gonna take a break today. I'm gonna say, I think I might hit the gym right now. And then, cause I was dealing with all that work so I haven't gone for like a fucking week. I think I'm going on two. Um, and then honestly, I'm gonna go drink tonight. It's just, I need a fucking beer. And just chill on the weekend, um, look for more jobs. I think I might fix my resume. <sighs> 
it's okay to take a break from life from trying to be positive and optimistic it is fucking tiring i'm tired right now my head hurts i just don't even want to try to be positive and optimistic right now man is i think i just need a break i'm gonna take a break and then go back at it on monday the thing that sucks too dude is i was doing sub work for like a whole week and then uh i passed it up because i thought i was gonna be working with them well job's calling me so see you guys later peace